Welcome to another Rebel Lil Walkthrough. This is for Suicide Squad. I do want to say thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. All the members of the Rebel family, I appreciate you guys. My new subscribers, welcome to this channel. Yeah, let's get into it. So I do have the entire mission for Brainiac, both the side missions and the big boss battle that I did want to show you guys exactly how to go about beating it. It's more about the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use in order to beat Brainiac and the two additional missions attached to it it's less about the weapons and the gear and stuff like that that i use the strategy and method you can kind of use it with whatever so let's get into it so first things first you want to select your difficulty i'm gonna go with sweating bullets but you can choose whatever difficulty you want it doesn't change the type of resources or rewards that you get for completing this mission so just pick whichever difficulty you want you do have to pay a 3000 cost you get the points for that by doing a couple of side missions along the way um, there's a bunch of different side missions that you can do just to get enough points to be able to afford this mission the first time i did this mission it didn't go all that well um it was a lot of things going on i just wasn't really prepared to tackle this brainiac mission at that time i did have the new superman gun that i had unlocked and i just really wasn't understanding how that gun worked so i was really really unprepared for this mission particularly but this time around let's knock it out of the park First thing you want to do is uh, select the mission that you want to start out with. As far as the side missions, you have two of them that you have to knock out of the park before you can go and see Brainiac. The faster you do this mission, the more time you have to take on Brainiac. So the first thing I do is go for the Toy Man mission. So let's do it. so with this toy man mission the best place to go to for this mission is over here this part of the map right here is the best spot it's a sweet spot to take out all of these brutes these brutes can be very 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 aggressive they're very hard to take out they just absorb a lot of your weapons and they do have some pretty devastating moves so it can get a little overwhelming because there's so many of them that part of the board is a really good spot to be if you do have a melee weapon that has some type of perk like a home run hitting perk or something like that that sends brutes flying that part of the map is the best part to be so let's see if we could get some of these brutes to follow us over here and let's put this method to the test what you want to do is get the brutes over to this part of the map and try to knock them into that acidic water that purple water will instantly kill any brute that falls in it even if you fall in it you'll probably get destroyed as well so that brute almost got me but the best thing to do is try to knock them over to the best of your ability if you do have one of those melee weapons that has a, like a home run hitting perk that sends these type of guys flying back it's really easy to get rid of them but if you get them into that state where they're charging up for a really big hit and they light up in blue if you get them close enough to the ledge you could just throw your melee weapon and for me it's boomerang it could knock them over the ledge and instantly take them out so what happens when you take them out that way by knocking them over the ledge all of the data shards that comes out of them is going to be scattered across the map a little bit and so it may end up on a lot of the rooftops if you look in the back you see it's on top of the bridge it's on top of the rooftops near the acidic water but they will pop up all around the map all you got to do is just scoop those things up run back to the bus activate the shield mission complete 
it's the fastest way to take out those brutes and get rid of that mission otherwise it could be a little while before you actually take those brutes out they do absorb a lot of your weapons and they are very aggressive and they can be overwhelming so that's the quick way for the first part the second part all you want to do is just take these guys out it's easier to just take down as many enemies as possible try to do it as quickly as possible as well there will be a lot of terminots around this part of the map as well so taking these terminots out will prevent you from getting overwhelmed by brutes so for me first thing i do is try to take down as many of these weaker enemies as possible also if i see any of the terminots i try to take them out as well before they start forming a bunch of brutes once the brutes come in it does get a little bit more challenging but as long as you stick to a lot of the weaker guys Guys, you can rack up some data shards pretty quickly in this mission headshots do the most damage the quickest so try to stick to those as much as possible the brutes if you're able to take them out they do offer the most data shards gotta get these data buggers to the truck 50% down 50% to go Crap. Forgot that I have to drop the data off at the truck. Just a handful more butts left to kick. I, I mean, yeah, once you have all of the data shards you need, just get back to the bus and quickly activate the shield. And take these guys out. So once you take those guys out, you want to transverse over to the second part, which is going to be more about taking out the crystals and taking out the incubators. all right so once you finally make it over to the crystals area you're gonna be able to take out some of these crystals best thing to do is pretty much take out the little guys as quickly as possible there's gonna be a lot of brutes that will arrive throughout this mission there's gonna be helicopters that come in there's going to be bad weather where it's gonna be like lightning spots all over the map a lot of these things are gonna come in just as distractions try to stick to taking out all of the enemies that surround the crystal once they're taken out the crystal will open up the brutes the helicopters and things like that you don't have to take any of those guys out in order to free up the crystals so you can just ignore them to the best of your ability but they will try to overwhelm you if you're not careful so just try to be very quick in taking out a lot of the smaller guys that surrounds the crystals that should free the crystal up and then go straight to the incubator as quickly as possible i'm gonna quickly run through it my guns might be a little bit stronger so it does make this mission a lot easier for me to do but for you just stick to a lot of the smaller brutes a lot of the smaller grunts that surround the crystal it should free the crystal up very quickly If you do see a Termini and you're able to take them out, they do drop something that will make your weapon a little bit stronger as well. So that might give you the boost you need to take these guys out quicker too. If you do see a terminal trying to merge with something else, especially if it's trying to merge with a brute, try to prevent that from happening because the more brutes, the more overwhelming this mission can be. So try to take out any terminal that you see. But if you do notice the icon on the map where they're fusing with someone, make that a priority to stop that from happening. As many of the brutes as you can take out or prevent from coming will be the better for you. Repairs. They're rocks. You can kill this incubator. 
Lighter now. Thank you, Lighter. Rip to the incubator. Not the worst thing I've ever seen in a can. But yeah, if you do have a hard time trying to locate some of these crystals, just use the trail leading from the incubator in order to find where the crystal is. It does make that a lot easier to locate. Sometimes finding the, the crystals could be a part of the challenge. So just use the trail coming from the incubators in order to locate the next crystal. Once you take care of all of the incubators, all you got to do is just transverse over to where Brainiac is. So let's make that happen. All right, so once you make it over to Brainiac, that should stop the timer and it should allow you to, it should activate a cutscene as well to start the mission. All right, so once you make it out of the cutscene, you'll notice that you're dealing with Brainiac in the form of the Flash. What I tend to do is I wait for all of his enemies to come out. So once he brings out all of the grunts into the mission, try to take out as many of these guys as quickly as possible so that it prevents Brainiac from absorbing them. What you can do is use a lot of your grenades in this area if your weapon isn't strong enough to just take them out quickly. Grenades will be your best friend in that scenario. Taking these guys out is important because Brainiac will absorb them in order to gain health. If you're able to take out a lot of them, then he'll actually take damage when he tries to absorb them. So just try to take these guys out as quickly as possible to prevent any regeneration for Brainiac. There's no point in really shooting at Brainiac once he's in that shield. It doesn't really do any damage. I take out those crystals that's there just because it's there. I don't really notice it doing anything. But once Flash is, well, once Brainiac is doing his Flash impersonation, running around, first thing you want to do is hit him with a counter shot. That's going to free up his body to take damage. Without that, his health bar is going to be pretty much locked off until you take a counter shot at him. Best thing to do, similar to the Flash, just stick and move anytime you do get a lock on brainiac and his health bar is available you know use your regular bullets to the best of your ability also hit him with a counter shot once he's vulnerable for it that will just keep him vulnerable to regular bullets so just keep rinse washing repeating that process in regards to brainiac once he lets his grunts back out after taking a certain amount of damage pretty much try to take these guys out as quickly as possible so on this run with the grunts he's going to there's going to be a run where ivy sends out her plants for additional assistance the ivy one and you just pretty much hold square on the plant that's going to be something that's going to release an affliction on all of the grunts very 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 helpful if your weapon's strong enough you could just gun them down if not try to use a lot of grenades or you could slow down time if you have that ability unlocked you can also use your transversal attack the suicide strike attack which is more of an individual move will probably be a bad idea because it takes up too much time so i would recommend using your transversal attacks along with slowing down time with your ultimate attack using grenades and using your weapons if you noticed brainiac actually lost health in that process because i took out most of the grunts that he had 
released so instead of him regenerating he actually lost health that's a plus for me and then once he's released from his shield you pretty much got to do the same thing all over again just dodge counter shot to the best of your ability try to stay in a moving state that way he can't really hit you with any of the lightning bolts that he shoots your way very very similar to the flash just a little bit less hectic Introduce you to some former civilians of Metropolis. Careful now, they're quite volatile. <laughs> now it's a field test. Hey, Chuckleheads, what's got four wheels, rockets, a big gun, and kills aliens? Is it? I'm dropping one in on your load. And then there's going to be an additional assistance from gizmo where he's going to bring out vehicles the one that gizmo does i would say to hold off on using the vehicle until brainiac is back out and running around so try to take out as many of the grunts with your regular weapons and grenades as much as possible once brainiac is back on the field counter shot him just to free up his health bar and then use the vehicle that way all of the rockets that you shoot out of the vehicle is going to do damage to brainiac and that's going to take his health down very quickly so that would be my recommendation for the third part that way you don't have to deal with any of the weather or tornado damage or anything like that the vehicle will pretty much just absorb all of that stuff you can use the rockets to take down most of his health bar and it makes the mission very very easy to do and that's gonna wrap up brainiac if you did find this video to be helpful let me know in the comment section below leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff that helps the channel grow and yeah that's gonna do it for me it's rubber lil i'm i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one Peace.